welcome to Spark Sexualization, Protest, Action, Resistance, Knowledge. Today's stars are you, the young women here committed to working for social justice and equal opportunity. And of course, this is a wonderful example of the positive change that has occurred and is occurring. To hold fragments of art, culture, and trend in our hands like weapons against conformity. To learn about SPARK and maybe participate in some way, I think would be very empowering for girls who feel the same way and want to encourage girls to become everything they can be. It took a long time for me to be comfortable with myself image because the media that's given to us is so full of these ideas of what women need to be and what women should be like sexy but not slutty strong but not too strong oftentimes we think about our bodies in terms of what they look like even when we know better right we think about what does my body look like instead of how does it feel or what do i feel or what am i capable of and so we started brainstorming over the past few weeks and we were thinking about the stories that our bodies tell and what history is held in our bodies and where in our bodies do we locate our strength. As pretty much every speaker today has mentioned, sexualized portrayals of girls and women are becoming alarmingly common. Both of our hypotheses or guesses turned out to be correct. Those girls with highly sexualized identities had lower grades in every school subject we assess. And media sexualization is linked to increased eating disorders, lower self-esteem, higher rates of depression. I started collecting ads and looking at the image of women in advertising and talking about the sexualization of girls in the late 1960s. And people ask me often, they say you've been doing this for 40 years, have things gotten better? And in many ways they have gotten worse. Uh, the tyranny of the ideal image of beauty, the obsession with thinness, the violence, the images of violence, and certainly also the sexualization of girls and young women. Uh, my ideas were considered radical, the fact that these images might be harmful, the fact that objectification of women might set us up for violence. I see violence against women as intrinsically linked to other forms of sexism, and I see the eradication of violence against women as key in achieving any kind of equality for all people. Digital chopping blocks put us up for slavery, our artists and these addies are getting sold daily, and Mr. President, he turns a blind eye, can see brown girls sucking USA's pride. Spark is a movement to speak out against sexualization of girls, and there's a lot of ways that we can do it. And hip hop is definitely a platform where we can be heard, you know, across across the nation, across the world. So, I am a woman. I am a teen. I am a strong girl, and society won't crush my dream. I represent Spark, and our group is strong. Yeah. Yeah. about this because we all grew up with it. We have to remember that when we pass a mirror and criticize ourselves, a girl is watching. So not only is the media responsible, but we as individuals are each responsible because actually we do do what we see more than what we're told. And a all five senses example is even more powerful than, than the media. I think all of these all of these oppressions are so intersected and doing great work in one area impacts great work in other areas. I'm always very careful to make sure that we're being inclusive of the voices of women of color and that we're queer inclusive. Um, and I think making that effort helps, but also when it comes to um, the ethnic disparity because of lack of access, so what we really need to do is eroticize equality. And I always say to audiences, of men and boys especially, cooperation beats submission, trust me. Uh, this is the Male Allies Action Station here at the Spark Summit. Uh, we wanted a place for male allies to really have a booth uh, where they would be able to see that there are men that are passionate about these issues uh, and that sexualization of girls in the media really affects everybody. Well, I'm, not, I'm not afraid to speak my mind and I'm not afraid um, to stand up for what I believe in. I'm interested in getting more women, young women, interested in making media. They all sort of come together really to create a world um, free of oppression and marginalization. If we make media ourselves and we send it out to other people, 
then we're the ones who are disseminating this information, we're the ones who are making the decisions, and we're the ones who are putting our voices out there. work was about commercial land so it's just based on um, the sexualization in the media how they think you should look what they think you should be buying they um, show you a lot of labels makeup they show you a lot of skin just to sell perfume or boots or anything I really think we can make this change and if all of us can start noticing and actively working we can get to critical mass we can affect the dramatic change that's necessary. And I congratulate Spark on their summit, and may we all take this opportunity to discover, take action, and jumpstart a movement for change. I am sparking a movement, one that will leave a mark on society's pavements and alter dark conceptions in need of a guiding light. The question is, are you?